boy, I thought my running was hard. Cities is ridiculous. Okay, this gives me some hope. Welcome back, everybody. Run the intro. AFC Thames are on the climb back to the top of the table. Folks, welcome, Matt. Good to see you. It's me, Dr. Benji FM. Thank you for the comments yesterday. I can't not, I can't not mention them. Uh, they were lovely. The top one, especially. Um, yeah. I, basically, I don't like letting you down. And I feel like this year, we've done some really great stuff. There's been a lot of Thames episodes. But yeah, recent times, of course. When life stuff gets in the way, I'm very conscious of the fact that this is something that becomes not a constant in your life. And for a lot of people, I know throughout the years... You like it being that, so and so do I. So here we go. Uh, right then, you can see there, Thames FC coming up in just a moment. And we beat Tottenham in between the, 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 the two defeats to United and Forest. I don't know, I don't know what happened, viewers. I can't even explain it. And the Tottenham game wasn't as easy as I would have wanted it to be. They're not having like, the most amazing season. Then again, neither were United. Um, yeah, we, they got a very early goal. I was already frustrated because I thought, right, I've lost two. Now I'm a goal down after four minutes. Uh, then three goals without reply. Urban Trout, McCarthy, Melon before an 83rd minute goal. And at that point, you're thinking what I'm thinking. I was, yeah, I was not I was not in a good place. But we held on just about. We wasted time. We went defensive and we got the job done. Thames FC today then. Our running is not great. Arsenal and Liverpool at the very end of the season, not ideal. Manchester City on the Saturday just before that as well, or a few weeks before that. Again, tough. But I, I showed it in the intro there. We'll just focus in on it again. City have just lost to Leicester, which is why we are now with a point within a point of them. Um, they've got a very difficult march. And all I can think is if they're going to qualify through the Champions League, which it looks like they're going to beat Juventus, their fixtures are only going to get tougher. They have to play Arsenal, Juventus, Liverpool. Again, I'm missing a few teams out. But United, Chelsea, ourselves, Tottenham, Manchester United and Thames FC. I don't know if I've ever seen a run in harder than this. And again... Bear in mind, they're going to face probably one of these sides as well in the next round of the Cup 2. That was a game and a half, wasn't it? Tem 6, Real Madrid 5. Goodness me. Uh, imagine if we were, we were doing that too. Who's this guy? Is he... Shouldn't have looked at him. Should not have looked at him. Also, by the way, uh, before we go any further, I've been looking at the transfer list again to see if we can bring anybody in for next season. Uh, of course, the January window has closed now. Remember remember Ebo at Norwich that we talked about before, right? He is the best. They're top of the championship, which is not exactly a surprise, right? They are absolutely dominant. T a, a challenge for you. Tweet me. Can you find a better player that's playing in the championship in your save? Don't get me wrong. 2042. I've got a lot of years. Than this man. I, in the championship... I don't, I don't, I can't fathom. If we get enough money in the summer to buy him, we'll absolutely buy him. He's one of the best players I've seen on a football manager period. He's currently playing his trade for Norwich in the championship. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Anyway, we've talked about him before. He's got better. That's why I'm talking about it. Um, yeah, 11, 13 goals, 11 assists. Obviously, in terms of output, last year he was quite poor, but... With those attributes, how can you be how can you be anything but the best player ever? Like scary, scary stuff. It makes Melon in comparison like look pretty basic. Like I mean, absolutely ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And again, playing in the championship. If you can find a better player, you can't. I'm going to say now, you will not find that. That is the best one I've ever seen in the second tier of any league. Anyway, regardless, let's get involved then in this game against Thames. Uh, a few changes. Guzman's have to come in at the back. Uh, Bruzis is not available for this one, so he won't feature. Uh, Juan Jose comes back in. Um, Ermontrout up front. This is the man. I need this guy. Like Talking about quality players, right? I need this guy to be the guy he's still quite young don't get me wrong 19 years of age he's, he's about to turn 20 i need more contributions for him last year was slightly better he's average rating not really high enough and for a side that are battling for league titles which we are right now i need players like him to absolutely go off basically and, and so far it's not really happened it feels like it's getting very tight at the top then five points separate the top four with games in hand for liverpool and for thames that could become if i do the maths very quickly in my head two points separating four sides ridiculous uh let's see then can we beat Thames? This is a crucial game. If we lose, they win. That gap begins to close and I'm not going to enjoy it. Thames, as we know, are coming off the back of some decent results in recent times. Notably, the 6-5 against Real Madrid and beat Chelsea and drew with Liverpool. They've had a very difficult run. Their run in looks pretty soft comparably. Although even then, they play Oz, Tottenham, United, City. Everyone's got a soft run in, it feels like. Right then, let's see. Everyone plays each other. Uh, into the games we go. Of course, last episode was disappointing. We did not produce the football 
that I was hoping we would produce. We've got to feed Ermin Trout slightly better. Um, I know this side pretty well now. Traditionally, if you've watched a lot of this series, you'll know that we've been very good against uh, Thames. So if we can keep that going today, then again, the title could well be ours. Um, I think, yeah, the, the big thing to note is that, our, again, our record against them has been absolutely excellent. Uh, as the blue face the red then, as we try and convert uh, London into a slightly different shade as that ball forwards is a little... Do you know what? I, I, I usually like the quick highlights. We talked about this yesterday. For videos, you tend to have to slow them down just a little touch as that ball inside is dangerous and Thames are on it. And again, on paper, as was the case for United, maybe not Forest so much, but definitely for United, they're definitely better than us. So we do have to perform at a slightly higher level than is expected as I'm a little nervous, but here's Aganovic which I've said correctly today, uh, racing forward again. I've asked for a big performance from him. It'd be magical for him to do it from there. Randrup, well, we are a minute in. He did not perform in last episode at all. The new man, uh, he's, he's struck first today, though. That's what you want to see from him. Thames of the red variety, one. Thames of the blue variety, nil. It comes from a run from uh, Ag Ag Aganovic uh, as Randrup there. It finds his way to him. And it's a lovely cultured finish, by the way. Really nice. Um, one nil up after a minute. We'll take that. I think based on what I'm seeing from the scores, uh, yeah, we have gone above City, who are currently drawing their game, it suggests then. As Juan Jose, Stephen, gets them on the ball. Forgot he was called Stephen? I, I did temporarily until right then. Um, they're on that side, though. Juan Luis, of course. That's uh, that's Martin on that side. Does he take takes things, man? Are we going to... We... <laughs> did you feel it? I felt it. Juan and Luis... Or John Lewis, as he was affectionately known, and I would have definitely changed it to uh, weaves his way round my. I say weaves my way, his way around the defenders. Just waltzes past them, so that's that's fantastic. All right, we went one nil up after a minute, and I was pretty confident, and now that's gone. So I think the the important thing will definitely be not to lose this one again. You don't want them getting any closer. Shout out to Derby County, by the way, who are eighth. United having a pretty indifferent season. Tottenham having a really poor year, and the bottom three. I don't know. I, I kind of wish there was more variety in the leagues, I've got to say. As Thames have got to throw in on that side as Rundrup now. Now, his ability to run with the ball at speed is very, very good. If you can find a pass maybe to Ermin Trout, he might have to go alone. Win a penalty, mate. I'm fine with that as well. Ball cut across. Oh, Ermin Trout. Good defending in the end. They got just in front of him to stop him. It was a great run from Rundrup from our half all the way into their penalty area. You'd love to see that, but it hasn't quite resulted in a goal. As another highlight is coming our way. Juan Jose does brilliantly to get uh, in ahead of that midfielder. And our Salatiel towards Randrup, who's in again. Similar position to the first goal. It's a good save by the goalkeeper. Armadon. Armado, I think it was Armado. Armando. Armar Armando. Words are very difficult. Oh, though what I've realised now, actually, is if we win this, top four. Like, top four is a huge... 11th last season. Top four would be a huge achievement if we hadn't run away with the league at the start Ermin Trout his big first chance are you joking I mean there are strikers on football manager that you I find in saves that can do I'm talking about you Pixie Dorian Heiser G Monnier Philip Gabe who do things that I don't see in any other save I do I'm doing a network game at the moment with some friends right I never see my striker do that from 22 from 25 yards out I don't know what's in Leon Ermin Trout's boots but it, it looks like gold dust to me it's 2-1 and that is, again, is that, a, is that a finish you see often in your saves viewers? I really don't. I I approve, but I'm still surprised. Anyway, we, we lead 2-1. Um, that's what we're talking about. You know what I mean? That's what we're talking about. I wore the headband yesterday, by the way. We're getting to that point where I've got a haircut this weekend, right? So it's not far away, but yeah, it's getting a, it's getting annoying at this point. I'm going to do a lot of that. I feel like if I'm not on Instagram often enough, it, I should be just, just for this, really. Um, anyway, there's a corner to Thames FC, my creation, my boys, as Arts ah, played in and cleared away beautifully, by the way, that is launched this left wing, and hopefully we get a lot of time now to come out and maybe put a bit of pressure on it, higher up the pitch, as it goes all the way up to the goalkeeper. I mean, if they have a corner, or, or throw in, or whatever it was, set piece in that corner, I, I don't mind the fact that their keeper's now got it, because they're going to have to work it all the way back. Of course, we don't want to leave too much space in behind, just defensively there. We could have won the ball twice. I mean, tackling someone, oh my word. Okay, that is a good challenge. As we now get it back, and can we work something out all the way back there? As no is the answer. We've given it away quite poorly. They're in again. It's got to be a goal. It is a goal. I mean, that was such a weird highlight. We I thought we were going to attack. It then went all the way back to their goalkeeper. It then came all the way back to our goalkeeper, and they still end up scoring. Bizarre. 2-2, and this game is barely underway, it feels like. I'm not going to watch it again. 
All right, throw in. 37 minutes gone. This has been a highlight frenzy right now. Randrup again, our new boy. Can he be involved? He's on it here as he's got Ehrman Trout just in front of him. The pass there was, I think, questionable is the best way to describe it. As we're back on it again, Salatiel into Melon. Forward towards Ehrman Trout, who's blocked off by the defender. I, that was actually brilliant defending. I've got a lot of time for that sort of thing. As Salatiel back on it. Aganovic to Melon as the ball forward. I don't really know what he was trying, if I'm honest. He hit it very hard, and the ricochet has seen Thames come forward. John Lewis is on it. Don't foul him. Don't foul him. Just block the shot. I mean, block something. Knee blocks the shot eventually. It was a little bit haphazard from us. As uh, we're still on balance. Again, I'll, do, I'll give him a final little encourage as we're drawing before half time. There's not been that many shots in the game, actually. Four for them, I think. Oh, I think it's four for us, three for them. And it's been very, very even as we're trying these crossed field balls. There's been a couple of them now that are leading to Thames attacks. We might need to maybe shorten our passing, maybe, or just, I don't know, slow things down a little bit. As that is the most hated thing on Football Manager when a player stands still and one of your players puts a foot in and he just falls to the ground and you know it's a penalty and it's and it might cost me the game i don't know if that's just me having worse defenders that have got no sense or logic but that's very very frustrating you would fully expect them to score lewis augusto steps up and i don't want this is a well penalties everybody um I just, I, I feel like if this is one of those moments where the video speaks louder than I. And we've all seen it, haven't we? <sighs> Good. Did it hit his knee and go in? Is there some irony there? So he's missed the penalty, but it's hit my goalkeeper and gone in anyway. Good. What do you even say here? Unlucky boys? I feel like we've done all right. We're just, we're just, we're three, two down. This is a bit of an epic game to be fair. It's, it's two, three. And we're just at half time as uh, we come out then. We're going to go a little bit more, oh, not quite attacking, a little bit more positive. We are going to try and slow things down a touch. I do think we've been a little bit haphazard with possession and that has led to a few breaks that we've seen at least anyway. Whether that bears out throughout the entire game, of course, we're not watching a full match. Then extended would make the video recording a lot longer. So key is t tends to be the sweet spot for, for video creators. Um, oh, times two, times three. I mean, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know how this has happened really it feels like we were in, in some control and it's all fallen apart of course we've now changed the way we're playing ever so slightly and that sometimes means they're not as familiar with what we're doing now which could lead to thames fc running away with it but well, the header clear is decent we have to try and stop this man from getting a ball into the middle though that cross looks dangerous john lewis heads home it's offside but another warning sign um a case is having a really really poor game i think the problem with that is we don't have many good options to replace him with i mean Malon, i feel like is having not his best appearance so far and if there's a man that i trust at the big occasion dominic doles is that guy so we brought him on last game he didn't really have that much impact but we're gonna do it again and see if it can this time around as liverpool have overtaken us in the lead and again this is a game we cannot afford to lose because of how tight it makes everything at the top of the table ermine trout tries to challenge john lewis finds ermine trout and now this is where he's dangerous beats his man all ends up the shot <sighs> sometimes he scores from 25 yards viewers sometimes he does that it's, it's, a, it's a process i'm gonna try and demand more from the boys as uh yeah this has been quite frustrating they're they're, they're as you can see sort of see from that they are also prone to sort of playing the way we are a little bit haphazard at times it's situations like this though when we launch the ball forward, we are hoping Ermentrout knocks it down to someone like Dolls, and then we work off that. Is it going to happen this time? Well, this time, Randrup on the right-hand side, racing forwards. It's a lovely finish. I'll tell you what, when I signed him, I wasn't 100% sure. It was one of those signings that, well, he might be good, and if we sell him on in the future, great, for like 40, 50 million. But man, is he putting in some good performances. And that right side, which Jakob sort of had as a striking option that was just out on the wing, now we seem to have got our guy, it feels like, out on that side. And Randrup with a lovely, lovely finish makes it 3-3. There's still half an hour to go. Like, this is a one-game episode, but it's well worth it right now. Value for money, viewers. As it's another Thames throw-in. As the highlights have been a plenty right now. As Ehrman Trout tries to get back involved. But it's going to be Thames again, who try and probe and press for another goal. He goes back to their centre-back, Donaldson. He's on a booking as well. That might be something we could take advantage of. I'm just looking at the way they've got so much space out there and we are just like our, our fullbacks having to do a lot of work to try and cover multiple things. If you can block that, well, Jordi does brilliantly to block that. And now Ehrman Trout, again, trying to put some pressure on it. We force it all the way back to their goalkeeper. I'm just wondering, wondering, wondering here tactically, 
if we can make some subtle changes to try and give us a little bit more emphasis, especially in forward areas. I think it might even be as simple as Aganovic playing slightly further forward and having everything maybe not go through doles quite so much and have him be a bit more of a supportive player and then have a support midfielder, someone like Salatiel, which everything sort of goes through. So we're not looking quite so much for that long distance pass, whereas we might play it into our playmaker. If you ever look in your football manager, this is a bit of, bit of learning for us here as uh, Thames FC do come forward. Of course, our changes haven't taken effect yet. So we'll just let them score and then claim it's not my fault. Brilliant. It's not my fault. Um, if you ever look at your football manager stats, if you ever go deeper than just playing like the positions and the tactics and, the, and whatever, um, the passing attribute or the passing stat for a player, if, if he's your playmaker, he will have significantly more passes in a game than anybody else. I'm sure lots of you know this already, but it's because other players will look for the playmaker to make plays. I know it sounds obvious. Um, so that's why people often say, don't have too many of them because then your team get confused about who they're playing it to. If you're playing like a tiki tacker style, you can have like six of them. It really, it, it genuinely won't matter because they're all playing with the same idea of creating something for that striker or whoever the, the attacking force is, right? But like, when you think about like classic Barcelona sides, you would say like Messi was a playmaker, Xavi, Iniesta, like Pedro at times, even Busquets like had these elements of playmaking in their game. Maybe not Bush gets much, <laughs> but, but you get what I'm saying. Like you can you can have more playmakers in that that sense. Whereas when you just have one, like the, it will focus through that player, which of course means that at some stage he'll be it'll be easier to stop because the teams know when well, you stop him, you stop the way they want they want to play. Um, curiously, I've changed things and we're doing nothing now. If I do, I bring Dolls in as another playmaker. Probably not. An attacking midfielder seems right to me. Um, Acacio is having such a poor game. I guess Pizarro is going to come on just to maybe to change the rhythm a little bit. 12 minutes to go. And since we've started doing TED Talks, we've seen no more highlights. And let's face it, we kind of need one. We'll go attacking. We try to encourage. We've got about 10 minutes. Can we do it? I mean, their XG has been pretty good. For a game that's ending 4-3 here, as, as Thames apparently love high-scoring games, look at that league table. You look at the fact that Thames have a game in hand on us and Liverpool have a game in hand on City. It's getting quite feisty up there, it's fair to say, as uh, we're going to bring Jakob on. I brought Dolls on. I might take Dolls off now. He's come on. He's had very little impact. We're going to go two strikers because why not at this stage? We might as well. And let's see then. Can there be a very last gasp moment? Maybe. Okay. Pizarro throws it into Randrup. We need an equaliser. Erwin Trout knocked down Jakob. Oh, he brought him on. They've scored. They've combined to get the goal. It's 4-4. Four, four. Well, we might as well have gone for it. We have gone for it. And well, would you look at that? We've got the goal. 4-4. Four, four. I told you before, it's an epic game. And well, it's sort of delivered on all stages right now. As these Thames FC games always tend to produce a bit of a banger. And that's what you want to see. 4-4 four, four, then. I mean, do you do you go for this now? Do you know that the win is that important for your league season? And just look how it changes the complexion of the league table. Thames FC and the points we've got over someone like Leicester stay pretty strong. I'm debating whether we go for it a little more. I mean, what more can I do than having four attacking roles? The way the game's gone, I think we should probably settle. If there's any late highlights, though, <laughs> okay, this is this is this is dramatic here because this is the final minute of the game, pretty much. Final 90 seconds, both sides would love a win. Both would hate a draw as Aganovic. Well, is this going to be his big moment for the team? He races forwards. No, it's not, is the answer to the question, viewers, as it will be a goal kick. And that, I think... <laughs> oh, God. That, I think, is time up. I thought wrong, as Thames are not done yet with me. And if they wrestle this away from me late on... Our right back's played him on. Pizarro's played him so onside. He's, he's offside. Well, I thought our right back there. I don't know. That looked marginal to me. It looks like that's going to be highlights over, though. Unless there's going to be one final opportunity for us. Or we cock up this ball forward and they score. But um, we're still attacking. I mean, we can't say we're not going for it. Pintado's got it at his feet. Into Salatiel. I suspect this is going to be game over. But you can never be too sure with football manager. Goes towards Erwin Trow. It is over. It's a 4-4 classic um the penalty oh i forgot about the penalty uh the penalty it's a great effort i mean the fact that i've drawn the game because of not only giving away a penalty and then the the circumstances in which it was scored there are many good football matches on this channel 
this is up there. This might be like a top 10, easily top 10, I would say. Um, what did you make of it? A chat, a chat viewers? comment section let me know uh, if you enjoyed it do remember to drop a like on it i mean this is well worth it uh, a 4-4 four, four, the league title is still very much in our grasp but we know if liverpool win their game in hand and thames do things haven't really changed on that front it gets very interesting we mentioned it last episode then the next time we come back will be another one of these big monstrosity games uh, let's see then who are we going to play against next time around just to tease you a little bit of viewers we actually don't play a big side until we play c at the end of april so we'll see how things are looking of course if it remains tight i mean i'm expecting to have a good march i'm expecting to start april quite well and then that running towards the end of the season might even be the next couple of episodes. Again, we'll see how things are looking. I don't want to like skip too many ahead, um, especially if it's going poorly or well, really. So we'll see what's going on. Um, if you, again, if you enjoyed today, do leave a like on it. If you want to subscribe, make sure you are. If you're not, if you're watching these videos unsubscribed, please do. We are very close to 100,000. It would mean a lot. Um, it's my birthday soon. Can we hit it before I'm 31? We've got till the 1st of September. It's going to be tough. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Then we love with care. We'll spend you until next time. <sighs> waving 4-4 it was a good game at least i mean party atmosphere